us on Facebook. So good morning, exactly 20 to 9 now. Let's uh, delve straight in for a little deeper look at the news. One or two stories you might not have heard about this morning. And Sean, would you like to start us off? What have you got there? I have a special delivery. So uh, <laughs> this is a cargo ship that is currently on its way due today at the International Space Station. Oh, that's uh, a bit different then. When you so, said special delivery, oh, I thought yeah. maybe like a belated Valentine's or something like that. But no. Well, actually, this one, it is slightly behind schedule. It had been due to arrive just before Valentine's Day, but they had a few issues on the launch. But as well as bringing general supplies that they need up there for science and so on and so forth, um, there are also a couple of uh, little treats for those currently working in the space station. So um, three astronauts, they've each picked one, uh, a, a candy, as they call it in America. Nice. Uh, so there's uh, Skittles, hot tamales and Mike and Ike's. Which I had to look they up. They all sound very yeah, what? American. Yeah, what American are Mike and Ike's? Mike and Ike's are apparently a fruity, chewy candy. Ugh. Right. Yeah, they look, not, a, they look a little like, bit like midget gems. See, I'm not a sweet fan anyway. I'm more a chocolate or biscuit kind of person. Yeah, I'd kind of be with you there. Or crisps, actually. Are there any crisps going on? Uh, there? there doesn't mention crisps, but there is also cheddar cheese, manchego mm. cheese, fresh fruit and vegetables, and chocolate. Oh, there you go. Okay, I mean, again, out of all of those, I'd go with the cheese, probably, or the veg. I think I'd be with you there. Mm, Maybe we need savory kind to of get taste. some yeah, Manx cheddar up there, perhaps. Ooh, this possibly, Because, yeah. I mean, you, I saw this over the weekend. So, again, as you do from time to time on social media, you see pictures of Manx cheese being sold in the most sort of bizarre places, places <laughs> that you'd never imagine. You know, the, the sales there sort of go far and wide. So this has to be the next thing. Get it up in space. Out of this world. There you go. Yeah. I have an odd question. <laughs> Is cheddar still cheddar when it's not from cheddar? Ah, well, Ooh. that is an interesting one, isn't it? Because <laughs> you do get cheeses like that, don't you, where they mm. have to be from a certain, a very specific location oh, yeah. to cheddar have the Cheddar Gorge, name. it's in Somerset, that's where cheddar comes from. Mm. Can you have a Manx cheddar? Well, it's certainly branded it's as that. A, it's on the label, yeah. Yeah, that's it. So it must, must be okay. You're right, there are certain things that have to come mm-hmm. from the place they're named after. But I guess cheddar is a bit more generic. It's more generic. a trendsetter than there, a... There, <laughs> you, there you go. Lovely pl- anyway. part of the world, though, oh, cheddar, it is. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, the gorgeous. Very impressive. I did have some genuine cheddar cheese mm. in cheddar as well, and that was lovely. Could you we... taste the difference between cheddar cheddar and generic cheddar? Well, you see, I, lo- I love the strong <laughs> Manx cheddar. That is just I think we could say fantastic. cheddar more than <laughs> It's a great word, isn't it? Cheddar. Sure. There you go. Uh, let's move on from <laughs> cheddar. And uh, so I talk about EastEnders, actually, because if you're watching the show, you'll know this week they are celebrating their 35th anniversary. Years. Yeah, that's it. Uh, tomorrow is the actual anniversary, the 19th of February, 1985 it began. And it was uh, Dan and Nick Cotton, I think, uh, and Arthur uh, breaking in and discovering Reg Cox's body. So it kind of started as it meant to go on. It was hardly the happiest of starts. And it's kind of continued that way. But they are doing something epic to celebrate the birthday this week as you may have heard a character is expected to be killed off oh at a boat party when they fall off the boat into the river thames so again it's all jolly stuff isn't it <laughs> just, um, just standard yeah, day-to-day life well, stuff really well they did this was it for the 25th didn't bradley bradley branning fall off the top of the queen vic and that was it for poor old bradders so uh, obviously a similar thing a huge operation according to the executive producer involving 150 crew members so i think Friday is when we'll find out exactly who has departed. <laughs> I take it this is all a big secret until then. I think so. A lot of speculation, but uh, well, it's a lot of you know big characters still there. Is Dot still in it? I think Dot's still there. You keep looking she? at me. I've never watched it. <laughs> if so you're not I'm at very all, sorry, no. no. I used to sort of watch it quite avidly back in the day, but mm. uh, not for a long time. Phil Mitchell's still there. Sharon is there as well, and Ian Beale. I think Ian's there. and Sharon. Well, are the I un- remember the characters. Some of these yeah. characters you're mentioning, just because I've, yeah, I've seen it in the background names. of other people's but, houses, but yeah. the st- Still going strong. So, yeah, so Friday night, I think, is the big one when it all goes on. And incidentally, on BBC One, the uh, the one show yesterday, I believe, had a, pretty much the whole programme dedicated to speaking to some of the cast members and looking back over the 35 years, if anyone's interested. So that's a, available on iPlayer. Great moment. You ain't my mother. Yes, I am. <laughs> one of the big moments. And anyway, don't right. start me off. Don't start me off. Yes, that's <laughs> very exciting. <laughs> I could be qu- quoting Den and Ange uh, for a long time. Right, let's move on quickly. What have you well, got? Well, as you know, uh, I do like a list when it comes to the have you heard stories and uh, this is a list of things uh, every child should do before they're five years old as said by a school which incidentally is holly willoughby's 
uh, former school and this is uh, it says for for girls before the age of five but it's that's just because it's a girl's school it's not actually being sexist um and this is it's given 50 different things you should do to try and avoid being addicted to the screen at a very young age so a quick uh, i guess a little pick of some of the things that kids should be doing uh, flying kites playing football holding a worm Right, so yeah, uh, fair, fair enough. Climbing trees, yeah, it's all fairly standard. Riding a bark, dance in the rain, riding a bark, riding a bike, <laughs> uh, dancing in the rain, hatching a chick is on oh, the okay, list, yeah, which is quite yeah. nice. Swimming in the sea, uh, egg rolling. I like that. <laughs> yeah, this, 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 nice is this is good. Skimming stones, uh, writing letters, telling jokes, making scrapbooks, see the stars at night and have a midnight picnic. Oh, well, now I'm all for that. That sounds mid- good. Yeah, good old midnight snack. Yeah. That sounds good. And maybe... Play an Oasis song. Is that in there? <laughs> it's not weirdly <laughs> enough. Oh, I think they, there should definitely be something off vinyl, perhaps, to really sort yeah. of take you away from screens. Maybe this one. She's electric now on Manx Radio.